It's 531 on this Tuesday. The fate of a former Dallas police officer who shot and killed her neighbor in his own apartment now in the hands of the jury. Amber Geiger killed Botham Jean in August of 2018. She says she thought he was, uh, she that is, was in her apartment and that he was an intruder. The jury is deliberating right now, so that's what we're talking about. We want to bring you in on the conversation. Do you feel she should be found guilty? Jump on Facebook. We'd like you to use the hashtag so we can find you. Hashtag Morning Blend 10. Sean had a really interesting comment. He said, what would happen to both of them, Sean, if he walked into Amber's home and shot and killed her while she was sitting on her couch in her pajamas eating ice cream? Different perspective. Yeah, Stacy hmm. says, horrible mistake. Leah says she should go to prison. Tyler says cops are trained to kill. No surprise when they do. Adriana says absolutely. A lot of comments we're getting are saying she should do jail time. How much, of course, is up right. to the jury. I don't think there's any question that she was indeed the shooter and that it uh, looks like it was a mistake. Time to get to all of your national and local top stories in five minutes. We call a daily blend. Brittany with traffic. All right, guys, you got to see this. One intersection, two different prices. El Camino. Take a look at your screen. 379. You can see it the 49er. Let's pan over to the other spot. Four dollars and 47 cents. So as you head out, make sure to go to abc10.com slash gas prices because you never know what you're going to get. Um, what you'll have to pay for. Let's make sure you save some money, right? All right, let's come back to the maps this morning. As you head out, let's talk about your drive times for all my super commuters this morning. You can see Davis to Fairfield, if you're thinking, all right, what's up, especially near the Yolo Causeway. Uh, we're looking at 73 miles per hour, so about 32 minutes. Fairfield into Sacramento, we're looking at 32 minutes. And then Davis into Fairfield, I'm sorry. We're looking at 25 minutes. So traffic is moving on that side of 80, but what about the other side of 80? At 553, let's get a check of your forecast. Rob Carlmark, I, I say it's kind of chilly this morning. Oh, for right? sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, it, you're definitely going to feel it. I was just talking to Mason, who's running the camera here, as smooth as he is. And he's saying, ooh, I like it. It's crisp outside. You know what, folks? Uh, this is going to be a cold morning for us for this time of year. And I, I can say cold because we're close to record cold uh, this morning. And then we're going to be warming up to the 70s. So let's take you through it because I think today is surprisingly kind of a, a, a great weather day for us because usually this time of year we're in the 80s or we have a last minute heat wave or we see some early season cold weather like we saw yesterday. Today, we're sort of right in the middle. We're going to be below average, but we're going to be close to those record lows and then warming up into the 70s. No threat of rain or snow for maybe the next week or two. When you have calm conditions, no wind, your temperatures tank. And look at this. It's 41 degrees in Fairfield. Uh, and you can see up high, we're in the 20s. So really, the story is not rain or snow or anything like that. It's your temperatures. It's going to be in the 70s down low, 60s and 50s for the Sierra. We're going to be looking at temperatures moving into the 70s this upcoming weekend for Tahoe, 60s, 70s for the Bay Area. And if you're in the Inland Valley spots, somewhere in the 70s, an absolutely picture-perfect day today. I keep saying it, but this is why we live in California, for the weather that we're going to have today and this entire week. Walt? Yeah, I'm loving it, Rob. Okay, thank you. A potential game changer in California's college sports. Governor Newsom has signed a bill that would allow student-athletes to sign endorsement deals and hire agents. This new law does not mean players will be tra uh, tra paid directly from their universities. It does mean college athletes in California could hire agents and get shoe deals and other endorsements and get paid for signing autographs. For the first time, someone is fighting back. Someone is saying to the NCAA, you can't rule college athletics in the same tired, hackneyed way. NCAA rules don't allow athletes to be paid beyond their scholarships. The NCAA is defending its business model, saying the new law is creating confusion for current and future student athletes. Kirsten. And it's probably going to cut into their bottom line. All right, let's get to your other top stories right now in your Daily Blend. Bay Area spy. A Hayward man has been arrested, accused of spying for China. The FBI says he used hotel rooms to leave a bag of cash for informants, usually in exchange for an SD card loaded with sensitive U.S. national security information. He would then deliver that card to Beijing. Friendly fire. A New York police officer is dead after a struggle with an armed suspect, but police say it was gunshots from other officers that killed Officer Brian Mulkeen. But make no mistake, we lost the life of a courageous public servant solely due to a violent criminal who put the lives of the police and all the people we serve in jeopardy. 
a new twist in the impeachment investigation. ABC News reports Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was in on that phone call with President Trump and Ukraine's president. That call led to a complaint from an anonymous whistleblower who says the president abused his office by asking a foreign power to investigate a political rival. I'm Carlos Herrera, live at the Gathering Inn, the homeless shelter in Auburn. Why are we here? Well, someone out there who we don't know who made a $70,000 donation. What was that money used for, you may ask? Well, this is exactly why. Take a look. A 50-foot trailer, mobile kitchen, and it really is a commercial size, full-size kitchen with a flat top, a stove, a deep freezer, even two ovens really is making the difference here for the local homeless population in uh, Placer County. Let's bring in Keith Estes here. He is with the Gathering Inn. This is really a, a game changer for you guys. It's huge because before we had to try to bring meals in from the outside because this shelter did not have a kitchen before that. Now we can actually do meals on site. It's a great opportunity for the community also to get involved with our Adopt-A-Meal program. Go to thegatheringin.com. You can sign up and form a group and come here and help feed the homeless right here on site. That's the big difference here in Placer County. $70,000 donation for this uh, mobile kitchen, but also they're really big on asking for donations for the homeless population. There's a link on my Facebook page, Carlos Herrera News. You can click on that. You can also make a donation yourself. We'll send it back over to you, Kirsten. All right, thank you for that, Carlos. 538 right now. That is your Daily Blend. Folks, if you got something you want to share with us when you see it online, just use the hashtag MorningBlend10.